Yo, what's going on guys? Brand is an absolute monster here in season 14. He's literally a top 10 jungler based on pick rate and win rate because the items, man. Leandre's is twice as strong in terms of the burn damage. It's 2% max health instead of 1%. It also gives health instead of worthless mana. As a jungler, you don't need mana because you're a jungle item. And it's only 3,000 gold instead of 3,200. We're gonna be pushing for a Leandre's into a malignance you can go rylai second but i think malignance will be better to remove some extra magic resist from them and then third item we'll pick up rylai's so yeah basically the core is the leandries rylai's and malignance we'll start out with q because it's our lowest cooldown ability level one brian has a bunch of extra damage against monsters on his passive burn and passive explosion for our runes we have electrocute cheap shot eyeball relentless free boots cosmic very important ability haste ap and armor Without the ability haste level 2, you won't really be able to apply your burn. So it's kind of important that you have that. We want to wait for our Q to be up. We go ahead and hit him with a Q, and then we look at the burn here. Right as it's about to end, we hit him with a W. I might have actually done it a little too soon there. Okay, so we still had a little bit of wiggle room, especially with the blue ability haste. We want this Q to hit the wolf, so I'll swing out wide. It needs to hit the big one. You only get the explosion from hitting big. Oof, we didn't quite get it there. We're not actually going to be able to get it off this one. Because our W was too delayed. It is what it is. It'll slow down our clear a little bit. Won't be the end of the world though. It is a little bit of a tight clear, so... You're not going to get it every time, but as long as you get it off against the Gromp, I think you should be good to go. Alright, we'll get this down right here. Get the spread. Auto into Q. Get with the W. Get with an E. Smite these guys on over. Couldn't really get them inside of it, unfortunately. And with this clear, even with me making a few bumps and mistakes, we're still able to do a very fast clear, roughly 307. Because we're already walking towards the gank. I would count that as roughly a 307. Full clear, full HP. Leashless. We'll get her with an E auto. Got red buff autos on MF. We got nowhere to go. Ghost is better for brand jungle and most junglers in general because it's a lower cooldown than flash. And we're here already for scuttle. So we get to full clear, full HP, leashless, gank, and then still be here early to scuttle crabs. Pretty crazy. Now you see why brand's so good, man incredibly consistent our team is definitely too ap heavy <laughs> for this to be a perfect game for bran we'll make it work though ganking mid is harder because this fat wall can't really come behind it turn hits you three or four times top lane same thing top and mid 20 percent harder to gank bot lane 20 percent easier to gank which is why you do want to try to path from your top side of your jungle regardless of if you're like red or blue you're gonna start top side and clear towards bot side most of the time also depends on the matchups but as you can see top lane one pixel brush toward they can pretty much block off every gank for most jungle champions now sure things like kane or a big zack jump is an exception we'll pull them out it's the q get him with w if something's on fire your q stuns if something's on fire your w does bonus damage and if something's on fire your e spreads extra far for farming, the most useful one is your W bonus damage, because the stun itself, you're already farming high health, as is. More scaring this guy away. He doesn't have boots, and I have Relentless Hunter, so I might actually be able to get behind him. Oh, never mind. <laughs> it's probably warded. You see just how challenging it is to gank top. It's ridiculous. A ward here, here, here. It blocks everything. Seriously. Wasn't trying to hit that plant, but oh well. Can't really kill her here. She has enough health. She's close enough to turret. EW. We need to get the Q to the big one. We'll cross over here in a second. I don't want to smite it. Even though I have two smite charges. Got her with the W. Spread it to her with E. There's the electric Q. Our passive does apply uh, a proc of electrocute unlike Lux passive, which is why you generally go electrocute on brand these days instead of dark harvest. Are they really getting dragon for free? Oh my goodness. You need to hit Sejuani, guys. Hit Sejuani. Got it. Got Sejuani and the dragon. That was way too close, though. 
She was taking that before she'd back to single time. She didn't really have the items to be doing that. We'll gank bot lane. Need to get the Q on the big one. Don't let the small ones block it. That auto should finish it. Jungle monster attacks twice since your last time you, you're done attacking. Wait, MF and her stayed. We'll smite this, pop with Q. I don't think this is warded. Not entirely sure. I don't think it is though. We can go ahead and gank with Ghost on. We'll hit it early. We don't need all 15 seconds. We'll get it with the E. There's the W auto. I'm not going to be able to get my stun off on this chick. She lives here. That sucks. Probably should have just gone for the MF, let Nico go. She was going to die as is. It was a little greedy of me. We're going to be hitting six before seven minute mark. That's super early for jungle. It's still later than top and mid, even if top and mid have done nothing. But uh, jungle really only hit six before bot lane. You can't gank mid from bot side. Look at this. You have to go through the bush. So if they ward this, getting ganked from bot side is almost impossible because the Turk can already see all the way through this and hit it like five, three to three to five times before you can pass through, depending on how fast you're moving. Mm, I'm not going to buy control ward. I don't feel like it. I don't want to spend that gold investment. These bugs are insanely easy for brand to take because your passive, passive does apply against them. So you just pull them together, hit them with a big E spread, W... And they all blow up on each other through your passive explosion. It's kind of hilarious. Insanely easy. They're going to have to not let Brand passive work against them on the explosion part. Because he probably takes them faster than any champion in the game by at least 30 or 40%. It's wild how fast he takes those. Let's head over for Wolves. Red buff it is. No mind if I do. Pull it out with Q, hit it with the W E. We don't have full Leandres yet. My R is ready to use. I can't really get to him with my Q. The little ones are in the way there. I wasn't able to get my three proc off. It's too too much of a gap there. See how impossible this is with how the wall thick this is? I can't even get around it at all. Even on the front side, moving around it is kind of impossible. So yeah, <laughs> don't kick mid from bot side. It's so bad. Getting it from top side still fine. It's just as good as it was. But from bot side, waste of time. Got the stun. I'll drop R. Since she's already on fire, my R is going to slow her. Down she goes. Not bad. Nico's going to walk back to lane. Might build this shredder up. Yeah, MF is fairly disjointed. Like nine ish seconds. I think we can make this work. We'll see. Throw out a WQ. Got it. Got red buff autos on her as well. Yep, down she goes. Super solid. We'll take it. Dragon up soon. I need to reset, get my Leandres. It's a huge morale killer to die like that. Once you already died, you're trying to get back to lane to catch back up. And then you just get blasted again. They're going to blame their jungler. They're going to blame each other. We shall feed off of that poison. Leandres, we'll go for Sorks. Lucids are certainly fine on Bran. We're going to need penetration, though. <laughs> Our team's pretty much full AP outside of Ash. The Leandres penetration plus Malignant's penetration, reducing their magic resist by... Oh, damaging, the, damaging a champion with your ultimate burns the ground beneath them. I see. With your ultimate. It's interesting. Uh, I mean, that that's fine. It reduces their magic resist by 6 to 12, depending on our level. 
Mm, double warded. Got the stun. We'll bounce it. Oh, can I walk out of it? I do, just barely. Got her. Did some damage to the misfortune as well. I need somebody else to tank this for me. <laughs> we'll heal off of it a little bit. Whenever your jungle monster friend attacks a jungle monster, you get a linear stream of healing. Then we also heal whenever we kill a primary monster in a camp based on how much health we're missing. The more health we're missing, the better. Let's get behind him into the queue. Skip Crux for now. Would kind of like to gank Teemo. My bot lane shoved up, plus I don't have R, so I wasn't really thinking of ganking them at the moment. Are those Rift Bugs coming? Yeah, the Void Grubs are back up. We'll take those. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Mord's really good at it too with his passive. We we'll get it with the big spread. I would pull them together, but he's not really letting me. I would just move away and they'd all string in. Long ways. And yeah, when you have five of them, I think you get an extra. At five stacks, you summon a void mate when you attack structures. Yeah, that's huge. It lets your, the little void mites tank a whole lot. Oh, <laughs> bro. This guy's playing so safe. He wasn't even in bush. He was just straight up behind turret. It's ridiculous. Malignus arise. All right, we'll go Rylai second. It is 200 gold cheaper, five less AP. We don't we get the health versus the mana, which is good, but we miss out on 20 ability haste and then essentially 40 ability haste for brand ultimate. You still will get the malignants. And then after that, we'll go for Zanyas or Robinon against their team. It's a Robinon angle. Oh, it's warded. You can barely break two words when you're already on top of them with oracles. It's so weak. Got her with uh, my E at least. <clears throat> nice. You can't gank her. You just can't. You got to come all the way up from behind. It's so much slower and it puts you at a lot more risk. She sped up away. I almost got her because my Relentless Hunter plus tier 2 boots. You got the stun in the R. Oh, that's bad. I'm dead. She got off enough hits. No clue how Bran died in that whole thing. He wasn't even getting focused. But he somehow managed to die there. That's a brutal. And that's what I mean, dude. Ganking mid. It's basically, assuming they, they know how to play League of Legends and they they lay a ward, they click the button to put the ward in the bush, ultra high skill maneuver, you just can't gank it, man. You really can't. With most champions. With things like Zack can go really far over walls, he won't have an issue, but for slower paced junglers who walk around, there's no way we can make that happen. This Mord's taking all the bugs. He got the Grubs. He's getting the Herald. Now, Teemo is ahead in CS, but I think uh, Mord's gotten more value so far through the bugs. Because it gives it to your whole team, that on-hit damage against turrets. Or is it just me and him? I don't know. I think the whole team gets it, though. Yeah, the whole team gets it, even though that doesn't show when I click on them for some reason. Again, with an EWQ. Again, with a Smite Auto. All right, cool. It's worth. Hmm. Get with the stun. Drop the R. I need to pick up these fruits. Got with the stun E. That sucks, man. Ah, I mean, dude, you're full health. Why were you kiting away from them? And he's already on cooldowns. I don't know. She's got a whole lot of uh, 
magic resist sedge already two magic resist items. hollow hollow radiance is just a magic resist version of sunfire so yeah she's two magic resist items and quite a bit of damage herself and he got there way before sedge i definitely could have soloed sedge i think with our max health damage and whatnot We'll wait for our E to come up a little bit more, and then we'll drop the W. We'll go bot side, screw it. I'm done playing around top mid. It's been such a waste of time. Every every single time I've ever gone top and mid like you've seen, ungankable. It's too freaking easy to ward. Borderline impossible to gank for a champion like Brand if they're warding. Wait, team was bot side? What the heck? Get with an EQ. You're dead, buddy. Goodbye. He thought he was going to juke my Q and kite me out. Nope. Q connects. I have to ghost Annie's here. Got her with the E. The turnaround. Red buff autos. Got her with the stun W auto smite. No, this is bad. I'm dead. Kited it out decently, but Annie ended up flashing. Flash Ignite. Almost had Sedge. She seemed to heal or something. Or maybe it was just the Annie shield. Because I know she can shield her ally and speed him up. They're at least not going to get Dragon out of it since I got him low. We've got to go for Rylize. If we had that, we would have easily been able to kite that out. It's cool to see though, me and Sejuani were relatively same, at the time, we were relatively the same gold spent, but we were still dominating her in a solo fight, even though she has has literal counter items. She's got the rock to my scissors. Just goes to show how solid Brand is at the moment for us to just straight up win that. Even though she's got the counter items, same gold spent at the time. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, dude. Landed it. You're dead, bud. Yeah, later. It's much easier to land the Q now that they're slowed. Whoa, that's a big shield. She's perma slowed. Good luck moving, bud. I want these. We do need dragon for sure. Thinking I'm on my way. We take our wolves. We're still up CS. We're up kills. Having at least 180 champion is essential. You never, ever, 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 never, ever do you want to ever play a full AP comp. There's way too many good magic resist items this season. Sure, there's good armor items as well, but I think the magic resist items as a whole are more overwhelming with Force of Nature, Hollow Hollowed Radiance, Kanik. Super, super scary items. Got the stun. She should burn out. Hmm. Alright, didn't really get to assist there. That's alright. Gotta watch my spacing. I'm probably on a ward right now, too. Where the heck are these guys? Dude, I legit just couldn't see them. That was wild. Tanking the turret a bit, that's okay. Vlad gets a quad. So he was one kill, now he's at five. Rylize is definitely better than Malignant second. The amount of slows we're able to apply, whether we're getting the kill or not, with just a single ability and passive repeat applying is ridiculous. I'm spawning in this little guys. I gotta leave here though. We're up too far. They had vision of us as well. It is the 20 minute mark is when Baron comes up. When that happens, the buffs, it should give it to your whole team when you take it. Or your, if your ally takes it. Wow, Mord actually just tried to steal blue buff. What a scumbag. <laughs> Didn't help leash it. Doesn't even use mana and just walks over, tries to steal it at the last second. What a rat. And uh, 
A ding dong would say, well, you're going to get it anyways because it's your 20 minute mark. Well, yes. However, I wouldn't get the golden XP from it, which I get increased experience since I have jungle item. So he's essentially stealing from the team when he does that. Literally net stealing from the team. Thief! I'm going to have to hold him down and cut off his arm. <laughs> or just the hand. That's the right thing to do. We're going to ghost in from a distance just to get there. REQ will stay in range of Sejuani with our ghost for the R to bounce off of ourselves so she didn't have any of her allies near her. We get the stun, block her dash and a W. Get her with the WE, she sizzles and grizzles. Down she goes. This game's over. There's no comeback for these guys. As long as I don't die. Vlad scales, I scale, Ash scales. Every single person on our team scales extremely well, except for Mordekaiser, and even then. As long as Mord still has somebody to press R on that doesn't that can't really build QSS efficiently, he's fine. So for example, when you R Sejuani, she can't solo Mord. He has max health damage on his circle. He'll be okay. He'll be able to take their tank out of the fight. A big boom, land the Q. Skadoosh. Oh, here's Teemo. He's about to walk into me. I'll have to WQ. I don't have E. That sucks. If my Q is up there, he good chance he actually dies. She's not gonna help me break these. Jeez Louise. I only tried to steal them because I tried to steal my blue. This is a really bad play. Vlad's dead. And the, all the enemies are coming over here. They know we're on it. Got the WQER. Got red buff autos on this guy. Down he goes. I don't know why no one helped kill him. I barely had enough damage to even get him there. Not a huge fan of this Baron play. It's just so forced. I don't like it. Vlad's not even here. Yeah, I don't like this at all. This is bad. We're all low. I don't have ultimate. Vlad's not here because, you know, bot lane CSOP. Might as well just back off. Renata overstays. Down she goes. I have enough gold to get something pretty good. Oh, this is bad. Alright, Nico damage is kind of crazy. She got 800 gold from killing me there. 300 base, 500 bonus. We're going to miss Dragon now. All off that one stupid play. I should have left. It's the beautiful thing and the annoying thing about League. Things snowball out of control really quickly. That one play. Oh, yep. They probably get dragged here. We'll go Malignants into... Wow, oh my goodness. Zani is so expensive. Six, 1,600 gold to get a one-time use activatable. On oh, the Seeker's Arm Guard is the new stopwatch. That's ridiculous. That was our drag soul as well. Baron's so worthless compared to drag soul. 5% out of combat movement speed, slow resistance, 3% AD and AP, 5% armor magic resist. I want more flame drags is what I want. Although Earth Soul should be pretty good against Teemo. Let's farm it up a bit. There's not enough of them showing on the map for me to want to face check bushes and run into mushrooms and die. So once I hit a mushroom, I'm not getting away. I'm perma slowed. Wait, did these really not die? Wild. Their healing's that good. This area's most likely warded. We can hover on the Vlad and our mid lane. We'll wait right here. 
All right, cool. Sure, it should be down. Almost got it. Gonna run past that, get him with the stun. He's dead. Ghost is so good for bouncing the Brandar. Because if there's not if they if there's not another enemy near the person you're using your R on, it's not gonna bounce. It's just gonna hit them and do very little. So we can bounce it off of ourselves just by staying in tether range with our ghost. Could technically do it without ghost, but you're a lot less likely to be able to stay in range effectively while still using abilities and whatnot. Oh, this is bad. Oh, this is bad. Oh. Oh. Oh, what? 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 Well played. Annie killed me somehow. I think Annie shield killed me. She put it on Sejuani. I thought it was only on auto attacks. I hit Sejuani. When she was invisible to me, she was in the bush. I blasted her with two separate abilities. Annie must have shielded her. And when you hit any shield, you take damage, apparently even if you use an ability, and that's what killed me. I took 200, over 200 damage from that. That's so dumb, bro. Outrageous. Didn't even think about that. I would die from hitting them with abilities. Because ev everyone thinks about that when the enemy has Thornmel and a Ramus or a Malphite. AD carry. Or an auto base champion like years in Zao shredding into the thorn mallet and ripped up. You don't really think of it as, oh, I hit someone with an ability, so I'm the one who died. And that's exactly what happened. Let's go do a little Teemo here. After Rabadan, we'll go for... Probably Void Staff. R will bounce off the minion into him here. We're going to just hit him with a W over the wall. You're dead. Goodbye. That's a big damage. We really do need drag. Splitting on Teemo's decent, but not when there's people who can solo you. I can solo him, Vlad can solo him. Ash? If she kites it perfectly, he can't really get in range to blind dart. I think she'll even win that. We get the big spread onto Annie. Bounce the Q off of him onto minions, back to me. Oh, that's not good. I got Sedge Ard. I shouldn't have taken that cannon. That was bad manners. He could also be healing off that. That's my bad. Oh, Vlad died. Rip. Little minion blocked. Very cool. This will give red buff to my whole team. They'll miss out on it. They'd all be getting it for all five of them. Not anymore. Take everything. One well, of my teammates take my camps. <laughs> can can we get Ro yeah, we should be able to afford Robin on. Banshees is an also be a good option. I would go for a um, I wouldn't mind having Void Staff here or Banshees really. R Sedge. He shouldn't be Ring Annie. He should be Ring Sedge. He gets to steal a bunch of their stats. You'd get crazy tanky in there. I'm going to ghost early. Need to get there before they take Drag Soul. Mord went in way too early and he didn't even R the Sedge. I want to bounce this onto them. Just like that. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Oh, no. She's not. They're not even going to die. We're not hit a huge R2. I'm not sure what happened. I think I got CC'd inside the MFR. It's really unfortunate that we're not able to get this drag soul. Haven't been able to make it work. Burn damage dealt from malignants hasn't been that good to be honest. It's only been 331 so far. Leandre's done over 5k. My goodness. Goodness me, we need Void Staff. The Blighting Jewel here. At some point we'll sell boots, probably for Zanyas. So when I get caught in a weird position where I get like Nico snared or Sedge R flying at my forehead, I can 
press R and press Zanyas and not die. What is he doing? Just turn. Unfortunate. <laughs> And Timo didn't build magic resist, Annie didn't build magic resist, MF didn't build magic resist. There's only person on their team who oh well, Annie has some and Sedge has some. Where's she going? She's gonna go to that back bush, isn't she? You're dead, buddy. She almost had me. She's only two full items, too. I definitely need to get a Banshees. I'm gonna keep running. I don't know who's where. It's not worth dying. Okay, see where the Teemo is now. Actually makes me want to stay a little bit. Alright, let's head out. Ash gets shredded. Drop our Q on that. Auto Q. Smite that on over. Oh, we don't want that. Not bad. Killed it before it could reset anymore. These fights are tough. If MF gets off a big R. Ghost for this. Got with the E. Q. Q connects. Got with the W. Ghost is OP, bro. I need uh, the, the uh, her thing here. I don't think I'm going to kill Annie there either. I don't know if she flashed or had Zanias, but my W did not connect. It's so silly. We should literally just group as a team, but everyone wants to split. Whatever. I'll just follow around one of our split pushers. As a brand, you're not the primary form of engage for your team. You're more of a counter puncher. When the enemy's full engage, you dump your load on them. If I'm having to go to them to dump my load, it puts me at insane risk. Also makes it harder for me to land the skill shots themselves. Could almost get Void Staff. Crit Bloom is a little less magic penetration, a little less AP. We do get Ability Haste though, and you create a heal for your allies whenever you take down an enemy champion. I'd rather have Void Staff. I don't want to heal my allies. It's not what I'm doing here. Uh, all right, well. Drag fight. I really need Void Staff. I might have to buy Crit Bloom just to get there. My teammates are about to die. The enemies could already be posted up. They need these dragons as well for their Sedge and also to just stop us from getting Soul. It's so bad that I have to wait for a Void Staff there. But hey, we got Void Staff now. Let's go. Dragon's still not up. We can get there in time. Ward should literally just R Sedge at the start of the fight. And then they won't have a tank. They have no way to press forward properly. Oh, or you could just do that and just die immediately and get absolutely nothing. That works too. Kill him! He's walking into you! Got a decent R off. At least I got it off. That's basically what I'm saying. Ash is shredding the sedge. And we hard won that fight. Got her with my E. She died before she, she could do anything else after pressing R. Pretty good fight all in all besides the fact that Mord went in and did literally nothing. He didn't even press R before he died. Which is... I guess they must have been outside of his range because Nico didn't even stun him there. Now when I step on a team of Mushroom in theory I shouldn't die because I already have a 400 shield to protect me. Pfft, there's nothing here dude. I wonder if it'll die from that. Not quite.
I'm extremely low. Got it. We're about full build. All I need is an elixir and to sell boots for probably cosmic for movement speed. Whenever you are gonna get rid of your boots when you're truly full build, typically you're looking to get another movement speed style item so you're not the slowest thing on the map by far. Whereas you can't really stay in range to do anything. Ash is pretty close to full build. Red buff for everybody. Let's take the blue. Buffs are so important past 20 minute mark. You can get it for your whole team versus them getting it for their whole team. I didn't get it there, but I did get her with my slow. I literally missed my stun there. MF's trying to set up her R. Got Teemo with everything. Down he goes. Kind of wasted my R on it a little bit. Let's take this real quick. Need to heal off something. Also give my Earth Soul time to shield me again. All in all, pretty decent brand game. Let's look at the damage dealt. Interested to see. We're either number one or number two. Got her with the E. Well played to the Ash. Well played to my support. A huge... Huge, huge, huge part of the team's success there. So for damage dealt, we're probably number one or two. For damage taken, self-mitigated, we'll be meh. Let's see. Looking at damage dealt, we did have the most in the game. A little bit more than Annie, just barely. I'm surprised she had so much dealt. Must have been Timbers. Damage taken, we we're pretty high up there. Number three in the game behind Vlad and Sejuani. Self-mitigated. Extremely average. Sejuani self-mitigated over 100,000. That's way more than she took. She self-mitigated about twice as much damage as she even took. Goes to show how strong magic resist items are at the moment. And then for runes, high value. All in all, brand jungle, ridiculously good right now. Definitely give them a go. If you guys enjoyed this brand jungle video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is King Sticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.